Yes, guys. This is the video I'm doing with Jack in the Box Gully. We were the Jack in the Box Gully in St. Thomas. Coming from Proud Village. This is where we the Jack in the Box Gully. If you are coming from Proud Village, you can see the antenna for, I mean, the chimney for the former Apparates Plantation and Sugar Factory, which later, be, which later became WIRL. Otherwise, the front of the West Indies Records Limited that used to produce records for reggae music. Calypso music, soccer music, and other forms of Caribbean music. They used to produce the records here at WIRL. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm in the parish of St. Thomas once again. It is in the heart of Barbados. St. Thomas can best be referred to as the heart of uh, Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. We don't have no sea, no coastal in these parishes. There are two non-land parishes in Barbados, best referred to as the central uplands or the heart of Barbados. And they do not carry no sea, no coastal in them. This road will lead you back to Harrison's Cave and Birch Mahogany, where you're Ashford and Holy Innocence and Portwell. So many people are skeptical of me coming through Jack in the Box Gully taking video because they say it's a lonely place and they wouldn't want anything to happen to me or to me to get hurt but I trust God to be with me right through during the time that I'm here or anywhere else in Barbados so that I can put this place on the map and show you guys Jack in the Box Gully Jack in the Box is referred to as the granddaddy of Galiz. And they, I forgot to mention that there was an aerial track zip line that used to run through Jack in the Box Gully between 20, 2007 and 2015 when it closed down the aerial track zip line, which is further, which was further up through the gully. Aerial track zip line used to run further up in the gully, like cross the water spring, over water spring plantation, but that closed down. Harrison Cave has a zip line, which is just up the road as well. This is the route to Harrison Cave. If you're using the back roads, this will be the route to Harrison Cave and Welsh Mahogany. And this will be the road to Proud Village via Apparex and Bibbage Lane back to Bridgetown. Traffic has died down now. It is not as horrendous and tremendous like how it was when it first came in. As I said before, many people use it as a back road to get around. Especially during work hours, peak hours, many people are trying to get to and from work. So this is the beautiful countryside. Here in Barbados. So 
the chimney again for the former Apparates Plantation and Sugar Factory. Parish, my family from my mother's side originated from in nearby Rachma Hall. So, as I said before, I'm just being careful. Even though a motorist may be passing and looking at me. Mm. I'm not doing them anything, I'm just doing a video of Jack in the Box. So I guys be careful as they pass and look at me when they see me doing my videos. As I said before, people are very skeptical about me coming through here to do this because I don't want anything to happen to me. A lot of people say, keep out the Jack in the Box, really. It's a lonely place. Some people may think that I'm crazy by doing it. I'm not crazy. I guess trust the Lord to be with me, as I said before, while I do my videos. So thank you guys for watching now and do have a blessed evening. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Because that man said that the road won't paving because it's ridiculous and if it's true you can see the potholes in the road but paving this road will only cause a disaster on the highways at this time so any paving will have to be doing like in the late night into the early morning when people are not passing or on the weekends paving this road now at this time will only cause a disaster in warrens and on the highways because people use this road to get away from the traffic on the highway so i think it would not be a wise to pave it at a time when people have to pass through on it through here on a regular basis as i said before this is a cross country route people use to get around the island faster than having to use the back roads i mean they're having to use the highway people prefer to use this road even though it might be a bit dangerous use this as a back road or shortcut yeah 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 so thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening